It's been four days since convicted child sex offender Jeffrey Epstein was found hanged in his prison cell at the Manhattan Correctional Facility in New York City. At this point, how exactly he came to die remains a mystery. The autopsy was conducted by medical experts, but they are yet to give an answer. The medical examiner's determination is pending further information at this time. At the request of those representing the decedent and with the awareness of the federal prosecutor, I allowed a private pathologist to observe the autopsy examination. This is routine practice. Now, Epstein was on suicide watch, but apparently he wasn't being watched close enough. Yet another blow to the Department of Justice that was supposed to keep him alive after his first attempt to take his own life. And that's what prompted Epstein's attorneys to say that the guards have blood on their hands. Inside sources at the U.S. Department of Justice say that they're overworked and facing staffing shortages. But Epstein was arguably their most high-profile prisoner. Surely he'd be given special attention. Under the circumstances, I would have a staff member sitting there or have a camera on him 24-7 while he was in my custody, purely to cover my butt. I know that sounds tacky, but this is not your average inmate. A high-profile prisoner in federal prison in a cell by himself in violation of normal procedures. Even if you're not being checked on every 30 minutes, how hard is it to kill yourself in federal prison? There's no way that man could have killed himself. I've done too much time in those units. It's an impossibility. Between the floor and the ceiling is like eight or nine feet. There's no way for you to connect to anything. You have sheets, but they're paper level, not strong enough. He was 200 pounds. It would never happen. Adding to the mystery is the fact that there is no CCTV footage of Epstein in his cell. Manhattan Correctional Center is a federal facility. There is video surveillance everywhere, but apparently there is no video of Epstein. William Barr is the head of the U.S. Department of Justice. And interesting detail, he used to work for Kirkland and Ellis, the same law firm that represented Epstein the last time he was charged and when he got that sweetheart deal. Kirkland and Ellis continued representing Epstein through 2011 when William Barr was their employee. William Barr even recused himself from the latest trial. I'm recused from that matter uh, because one of the law... One of the law firms that represented Epstein long ago was a firm that I subsequently joined for a period of time. Attorney General William Barr says that he's appalled by what took place under the not-so-watchful eye of his Department of Justice. The FBI will soon be launching its own investigation. When or if we ever find out what happened to Jeffrey Epstein remains to be seen. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York.